Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, this is Jen Gianni, and today we're going to be talking about the mechanics of the collarbone, specifically. Um, this whole upper area of our rib cage, the manubrium, rib one, rib two, our clavicles, and our T1, T vertebrae, T1, T2 vertebrae, work together. So just when we inhale, we have a little lift of the manubrium, a roll of our first and second rib, especially our second rib, and a little roll of our clavicles, which is called posterior rotation. Um, and this also happens to a greater extent when we turn our head and when we bring our arms up and over our head. So this structure is really, um, uh, when working well, supports the neck and the head movement very well. So we want to make sure that this is working well when it's not. We can run into a lot of um, issues with our shoulder girdle, our neck, and into our head. So what I want you to do first is just to place your fingertips very lightly on your clavicles, like your fingers are listening to your clavicles. Take an inhale, exhale, and see if you feel any amount of subtle movement, a little bit of rotation under your fingertips. You may or may have not felt anything, or you may have just felt something on one side. Now, to maybe increase that sensation, on your inhale, turn your head to the right. Maybe you felt a little bit more movement of that posterior rotation of your right collarbone. Come back to center. Inhale, rotate your head to the left. Maybe you felt it. It's very, very common for us to have one collarbone clavicle that does do that subtle amount of movement and one that doesn't. Then you can also bring the arm up and over the head. This is going to be a little bit more pronounced. You'll be able to feel that a bit more. But side to side, it will be a little bit different for all of us. All right. And then one way that you can kind of up train that clavicle that's not doing as much movement, that's not doing its subtle little bit of posterior rotation, is to take your opposite hand. So if I want more um, optimal movement on my right clavicle, I'm going to take my left index finger. I'm going to put that finger underneath the clavicle. So it's kind of a bumping up or lifting that um, right clavicle from underneath. So I'm going to take a deep inhale, keep the clavicle lifted, keep it lifted on the exhale and then I'm keeping it lifted. Inhale, turn my head, and then keep it lifted as I exhale and bring my head back to center. Keep it lifted as I inhale and lift my arm. Exhale, keep it lifted as I drop my arm down. And then you don't have to do all of those sequences, right? You could pick and choose, but then after you do a few of those, again, you can lightly listen to your collarbone. Inhale, Exhale, and maybe you felt a little bit more subtle movement. And then again, you can go through the head turn on the inhale. You can go through the arm lifting on the inhale. And then you want your listening fingers to feel a little bit more of that subtle movement in your collarbone. And that's going to equate to much better upper back, neck, and head movement. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.